Type 2 diabetes can be life-threatening, and around 630,000 people in the UK don't even know they have it. And it appears many people across the West Midlands are at risk. There's a huge issue in the, in the West Midlands for diabetes. There's 150,000 people diagnosed with the condition, and there's a further 30,000 undiagnosed people walking around potentially developing complications for up to nine years without knowing they've actually got diabetes. Diabetes is a leading cause of blindness in people of a working age, it's a leading cause of renal kidney failure, you're more likely to have a heart attack, stroke or low limb amputation because of poor circulation and people can have type 2 diabetes up to nine years before they're diagnosed so potentially nine years of developing those complications. But what symptoms should you be looking out for and just who is at risk? Type 2, two diabetes usually affects people over the age of 40. It's called mature onset diabetes. It's where the pancreas isn't producing enough insulin to convert the glucose in the body into energy. So people will feel very tired. These are the typical symptoms of diabetes, feeling excessively tired, really, really thirsty. Um, drinking loads and loads, loads and loads of water, going to the toilet a lot, uh, blurred vision is another key symptom of diabetes, slow healing of cuts and wounds. If people have several of those symptoms, they should go to their local pharmacy or preferably their local doctor's practice and get a really quick test for diabetes. Someone who was suffering from those symptoms is Regional Diabetes UK champion Tony Kelly. Diabetes runs in my family. I was diagnosed as an early Christmas present 10 years ago. My wife noticed um, four of the key telltale signs, which was the four T's, tired, thirsty, toilet, and thinner. And us being men, there's this gender thing where we, we just don't like going to the doctors. It, it's, it's not the dumb thing. We, we, we avoid it like the plague, doctors and the dentists and things like that. But she said, you must go and get checked out. The good thing about mine is, mine is controlled strictly by diet and exercise. You can prevent the onset of type 2 by leading a lifestyle which involves a lot of exercise and a lot of dieting and um, keeping fit and healthy. And Tony knows only too well the harm diabetes can cause. Having seen relatives of mine, especially in Jamaica, who have had amputations, from gangrene setting in because of a, a, a mere cut they got on their, on their toe or, or on their foot, the bottom of their foot, to seeing kidney transplants, having to be on kidney dialysis three, four times a week. I've seen that with my own two eyes and then getting kidney transplants. I've seen strokes within my family. I've seen heart attacks. I've seen people go blind as well from having the complications of diabetes. So all those things made me stop and think, I need to make sure I'm in charge of myself. In an attempt to raise awareness of type 2 diabetes, Diabetes UK are travelling across the Midlands in their vans, offering locals a chance to have their risk measured. So we are finding out people's risk by um, taking their height, their weight and their waist measurement and then asking them seven questions. We don't take any blood, it's completely pain free, um, it's just an easy way for us to kind of find out what risk you're at. We've had loads of people on over um, the two days, um, so people have been really engaged, um, really wanting to find out how they can kind of take steps to reduce their risk. We've had a lot of people speaking to the dietitian, um, taking away food diaries for the next steps. Um, we've also had some people hula hooping, which is great, um, and we're giving away free fruit so they can grab that as well. The roadshows have been so popular that even the mayor has popped along for a test. I had my test done and, uh, and uh, this is I'm alright but I just need to be uh, a bit more careful and be more, be more active so I think it's been very useful for me. I think it's very important to, uh, to raise awareness because uh, there might be quite a few people uh, who might be suffering from this and probably wouldn't know so I think having events like these is absolutely essential uh, to raise awareness and to uh, and also to, uh, to actually get people uh, to kind of take part in there and to see if they've got any, any, any issues with diabetes and if they have and uh, how to actually go about and do something about it. So I think it's very important uh, and I think the job they're doing is absolutely amazing. And there'll be plenty more opportunities to make sure you're not at risk as the van continues to tour across the West Midlands. Lois Swinerton for The Midland in Birmingham.